Hey, this video is uh, to show you how to advance or retard your timing on a CR500. Uh, I believe the 250s and 125s are the same, but this is an 88500, so that's what I'm showing you on. Uh, okay, so what you do is you remove the uh, stator cover and you pull the flywheel and you are left with the stator. Um, now, if you look down here at the bottom, you get a light on there, there is a machined arrow and a timing mark. That is factory. Um, the, the piston doesn't have to be at top dead center or anything. Just line those two up and you are at center. Now, if you want to um, change your timing, you loosen that 12 millimeter bolt right to the right of it and that one right there and you can rotate that just slightly. Um, now if you turn the stator clockwise uh, that will move the pitch of that uh, hash mark uh, to the left of that arrow. That is retarding your timing. That will soften the power delivery. God knows why you'd want to do that, but you can. Um, don't want to go too far. You can overdo it in both directions. Um, and if you rotate it counterclockwise, that will advance your timing by moving that hash bar to the right of that arrow. Now, both are going to have diminishing returns. Um, if you advance the timing by going counterclockwise, you're going to have the power band hit a little sooner. Um, you know, may, may uh, help with uh, any altitude uh, challenges. I'm at 5,000 feet. I've never found that to be required. I run straight Honda um, factory settings. Um, don't want it retarded and don't want to over advance it because then you could get into pre-ignition and detonation areas um, if you're not running really high and race fuels. Um, so that's how you do it. Then you just put it back together, try as you, uh, uh, you can experiment with them, see what you like. You know, I'm pretty sure the Honda guys knew what they were doing and I've never had a problem with uh, needing to change it. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a glorious day. Brat, brat.